Hey everyone, this is Brett here with another video. So this video is how to get notified of your Facebook leads to your email, to your text, so by SMS or uh, be added automatically to your CRM. So the video is basically two parts. The first part tells you exactly how to set it up where you'll get your leads notified to you directly through an email to yourself or through SMS, I don't talk about the SMS because I don't recommend it, but it's exactly the same as email would be. And I don't recommend SMS because sometimes your spam filter from your carrier just blocks it due to it being from like a strange, you know, no reply number. And the second part of this video is how to get your Facebook lead ad leads into your CRM. And I demonstrate that on both HubSpot with a built-in integration and then Pipedrive, which goes through Zapier. So I'll put timestamps below so you can click which part you wanna to go to, whether you want it to your CRM or just a simple email with the lead information. Uh, and I hope you look forward to the video. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to business.facebook.com, which takes you to the Meta Business Manager and click here. If it doesn't already take you there and go to the Meta Business Suite. Okay, so then you'll see everything here. And on the left, you might not see instant forms, but what you can do is click all tools and it will come up down here, or you can also edit this and add instant forms to your homepage here. That way you can see it at a click. And if you're running lead ads, it's definitely important thing to have set up there. So click on instant forms. And as you can see here, I have an old ad from a while ago, which I'm gonna use for this demonstration. Okay, so all the information there. So now this is the Zapier method. So I'm gonna show you how to get them to your email notification of new leads and by text message. So what you would do is you would go first, uh, before you connect with the CRM, you're gonna connect with a Zapier. And as you can see, there's different options. So let's say we wanna do the email method, which I would uh, recommend over text because text, because it's automated, sometimes your carrier might actually screen through it. But Facebook, it's a lot, or sorry, email, it's a lot more likely to come through. So there you go, email by Zapier, then you're gonna connect and it's gonna come up here. Uh, and I believe I've already connected, so it might just come up, yeah. But I'm gonna show you what you would do, okay? So you're gonna make an account with Zapier first. Let's cancel the setup so I can go through this, or I guess it's already in there. Anyway, you'll go to Zapier, and on Zapier, you'll just create an account. It's free for 14 days, then it's uh, $19.99 US, or about $25 a month Canadian to get Facebook leads, which is a premium feature. And Zapier, there's so many automations you can do. You can connect with different CRMs, get an email, subscribe the leads to a mailing list on MailChimp, and there's so many different options. But with the CRM method, I'm gonna show you after this, there is 100% free ways to do this. Zapier is just a simple automation tool. So you are paying, but it is does definitely makes it easier. So then you'll go to Meta Business Suite, connect to email by Zapier. And then as you can see here, the trigger is a new lead in Facebook lead ads. So you'll connect your account. Let's do my Brett Mugford account here. Continue. So app and event is the Facebook lead ads. Trigger event is new leads. Facebook lead ad accounts, make sure you've got your right account selected because you can have multiple ad accounts for one page, so just make sure you've got the right ad account selected that you are running the ads on. Continue, and then the trigger. So this is the page, which I guess is just the Facebook page. Yeah, Brett Mugford and the form. So for example, we would do this free list of homes under 400,000, that's the form the leads are gonna come from, continue. Then you just click test the trigger, which just tests it, gets this dummy information. So you can see laid, laid lead A, which is just the demonstration, continue. And then your action event would be send an outbound email. So this would, you can set this up to send the email to yourself. So two could be, you know, let's say it's, uh, Brett at brettmugford.com as an example. 
and uh, the subject could be new Facebook ad lead and you can even put the name in here. So maybe homes under 400K. And then in the email, you can insert stuff. So email, this is gonna be the email of the lead. Then you can go phone. And what's really interesting here is you can insert the data. So the phone number of the lead, and you can also put the full name of the lead. And then everything comes up in the email. So then what would happen is it would be their name, their email address, their phone number, and then you can put in the name of the ad somewhere in here. Yeah, new Facebook lead ad in the subject, homes under 400,000. Click continue. So here's the action. So here's an example of what would come up to Brett Mugford subject, new Facebook lead ad. The body would, uh, for the homes under 400K, then the body would be name, which would be the data here, email, their data, and then the phone, it would be their data. So you'd be able to access all of that information in here and test and continue. It's going to go ahead and take a test. So this is the test here. An outbound email was sent. An outbound email was sent to email by Zapier just now. So let's say this was my re, re, real email address. It would show up in my real email. And then, like I said, it just shows up from a no reply email address from Zapier. Then it shows up subject, new Facebook, and all of the information in there. Turn on the Zap, and now it is active. Your Zap is on. So now you would just repeat that process for each form that you have. So in the CRM setup, you can see we have connected that one. Okay, now your question is, okay, well, that's only one. What am I going to do next? I have other lead forms. So this is where you would go on Zapier, and it's actually really easy because you can just copy and paste and change the information you need. So I have some other ones on here earlier, which I was demonstrating. We can just delete those for now. So basically what you can do is you can name this. Let's just rename this to the 400K Homes. It'll be this one up here. That's why. Email and let's say you you had different ads for different listings you just repeat the process and it's super easy you'll only have to change the one step which is the ad so for example you can go on here duplicate make sure you change the name to keep it organized so let's say that's a home under four hundred thousand let's uh then you can go here email notification for Buyer's Guide Download. Click on here, and then you would simply just change the form to a different form. So I only have that one form on here, but let's say it was a different one, just so we can test, continue. Everything is good here. So this is what it would look like, form ID. Yeah, so make sure in the email, and then we're gonna to go to the outbound email, the action here, and also change the name here because this is the this is the headline of the ad you're gonna get. So let's just assume it was a different ad for the buyer's guide download. It put in here. and then it's gonna tell you. The next one I'm gonna show you is significantly easier, which is to just use a, CA, a CRM where pretty much all of this is built out for you. You just click, sign into your Facebook, and the CRM does all this for you. Then you can just log into an app on your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that one next. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can set this up so your leads are automatically put into CRMs, and I'm gonna show you two different CRMs my two personal favorite, which are HubSpot and Pipedrive. So in HubSpot, what you would do is you don't even have to really worry about Facebook when you're doing HubSpot. You don't have to do, a, a, or I guess CRM connection here, you can do it, but instead of doing it through here, you'll just go straight to HubSpot and HubSpot is 100% free for what I'm showing you today. And they have you know pretty high limits, like 500, 1000 contacts. So you'll just create a free HubSpot account and then you'll go over to marketing and ads. So then once you're in ads here, what you'll do is you'll just click connect ad account. You will sign into your Facebook account, select your correct ad account, 
and just to show you to show you that it is connected so as you can see right here ad accounts you can also connect Facebook Google Ads LinkedIn so as you can see right here I have my Facebook ad connected I click on it and you can see that it shows sorry over here lead syncing and you can see that it's linking the forms from the Brett Mugford ad account which is one form and it will automatically have all the forms on here if I had more than one so sync time frame stays up to date and every new lead that comes into your Facebook through your Facebook ads will automatically be added to your contacts here so as you can see from earlier in the video you can see that test lead which we sent through testing with Zapier, it just created like a new lead in my Facebook account for testing purposes actually shows up on here. And now let me just jump to the phone to show you how you can see this on your mobile phone. Okay, so here we are on the phone, you see I have the HubSpot app, you can just go here, sign in, and you'll be able to see your contacts and by default right here, uh, in the top right, you can see sorted by create date. So whenever a new lead comes in, the create date and time will be exactly when that lead comes in. So you can see uh, these ones are 710 because I've signed up for HubSpot after I did this. So at 550 is when I uh, did the test with Zapier, which counted as a new lead. Then you can go in here. It tells you the form submitted, which was the free list of homes under 400,000. You can go to about. You can see their email, their phone number and their name which is at the top here which is just uh, as you can see test lead at the very very top the name is test lead dummy data for full name and then all the information and you can even go facebook ad properties and you can enter a bunch of more custom information if you wanted but basically the point is that you can log into an app simple as one click and right there you can see your most recent leads let's just pretend these were facebook leads you can see the name maria johnson uh, the email there would be the phone number on there and it just gives you a quick glance at the information that way you can follow up and let's say you are a real estate agent and you wanted to use hubspot as your crm it's great because you can go in here you can email them call them and as long as your gmail or whatever is connected it will automatically log here in this activity feed and you'll be able to see the contact history the information and whatever else you want to put in there you want to create a task to follow up a note whatever you want so this is a really good uh, CRM for real estate agents okay so here's another demonstration with a different CRM which is pipe drive and as you can see right here I've just created a new account you can see right on the left here we have the leads inbox okay so take your lead just right here add a new lead or lead booster but what we're gonna do is we're gonna Go over here and connect to Facebook. So check out apps and integrations. I'm just gonna search for Facebook lead ads. And then it says it's through Zapier. So we're gonna click visit site and they've already got it set up here. So when there's a new lead on Facebook, it creates a new deal in pipe drive. And there's some different options here. So let's see probably add new leads from Facebook lead ads to pipe drive that sounds like what we want so I'm gonna click try it Facebook lead ads Brett Mugford next click the Brett Mugford let's say it's the free list of homes ad getting data from Facebook lead ads to Zapier and now I would connect my pipe drive account so basically Zapier is a tool to create these connections and without the coding or the software engineering, you just have to connect it. So next, select the fields you want to edit in Pipedrive, right? So let's say we want their, from the Facebook lead ad, we want their name, their email and their phone number. To be submitted next map fields so name on pipe drive would be their full name from the Facebook ad their email would be their email and their phone would be their phone number so this is just to make sure that the right number from the Facebook ad goes into the right slot in the pipe drive CRM click next 
And as you can see, their pipe drive name is the Facebook name. The email in pipe drive will be their email. So, and as you can see, everything's connected. Send a test. Create a person in pipe drive to verify all works. Test person sent. Check your pipe drive next. And then we can turn on the zap. And once that zap is on, any new lead that comes in from a Facebook ad will automatically be put into your pipe drive CRM. And they also have a mobile app where you can log in and see it very similar to the HubSpot one. So right there, Facebook lead ads, they come in and then it creates a contact, a new contact or lead in pipe drive. All right, that's it. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos related to Facebook ads and thanks for watching.